We are back from C2E2 2022. Now it's time to get into the comic dealers and everything I picked up at the show. So let's do it. And for more comics content, head over to genoscomics.wordpress.com. All right, so before we get into the show, let's see what I picked, what, what I had waiting for me. Upon my return home, boom, package from eBay, some goods there. And August shipment from mycomicshop.com. More good is inside. You already know how that goes. So let's get into the footage from the show. Checked out a bunch of the dealers there. Probably almost everyone that I came across on Sunday for sure. Day three of the show. Had to get a lot of that. So let's check that out. And then we'll jump back and show off everything I picked up. Short box booth, taking them out. All these beauties here. Spidey. I mean, I think like we're at some point you'd be mine. Absolute beauties right here. Coming back. Hey, something. I didn't need that in my life at some point. Put it on. Put it on me. That's why. You? Yeah. There's six of them over here. Carnage. Marvel. Here. Alright, absolute comics and statues. Huge wall of goodies. Spider-Man, we got Fantastic Four, X-Men, Daredevil, Horror Fun Night, Dracula, Captain America. Oh yeah, first appearance of Apocalypse. X-Factor 6, look at all that Spidey action. 39. G.I. Joe 1.
Victory Comics, doing it big. Stopped there earlier, did some shopping, because they are a staple of C2E2. Alright, so there you go. You saw, again, a lot of dealers tried to just get a lot of footage of 
just the boxes, people shopping, Victory Comics especially, a bunch of stuff, dollar books, uh, two or three dollar books, five dollar books, some walls of trades, a lot of wall books, uh, graded comics, and just expensive older books, talking modern, copper, bronze, silver, gold, all that stuff. Tons of books out there, tons of deals, a lot of overpriced stuff as well, but plenty of comics for probably everybody's taste. And I was jumping to what I picked up. This was actually a giveaway I got uh, from SourcePoint Comics. I was walking, I think it was, this probably got this on Sunday, last day of the show, walking around. I was like, hey, kid was like, you want a free comic? Sure, I'll take one. It was this number one comic shop owner isn't a job. Well, comic shop owner isn't a job. It's a calling. Gary Scott Beatty and Aaron Warner. So, haven't even flipped to that yet. And now the goods. All the comics that I picked up at the show. So my uh, my road to the show kind of preview. I talked about, I did hit some of the books that I was, or kind of some of the things I was after, at least with some a couple of titles, but we'll get to these two first. They were on dollar, uh, dollar boxes. Uh, Fantastic Four variant here. This is the Evolution variant, I guess. Featuring Sue Storm, Invisible Woman. Again, and then I realized after that I already had it, but... <laughs> I paid two dollars for the other version I had from mycomicshop.com, and for some I didn't even bother to check. I just didn't think I had it yet, so got two of those now. Oh no, the Immortal variant—that's what it's called. And then you got Captain America, Out of Control, number three sixty-six. Again, these were—I think these were both from Dark Tower. I just have a nice selection of dollar books there, so I had to grab those. And then as you saw, I finished the last clip of that kind of—I don't say montage, but. Last clip of all those was Victory Comics and told you when I finally found them, I was definitely going back there and I did. So their deal was, was it $3 each or seven for 20? So did that and one of my favorite plus, uh, boxes to dig through there are the Daredevil books. So you already know I did that. Always after some Daredevil. So first up we got 195. Oh uh, yeah. And you got Black Widow on here. Dee Dee's out of action, but the Widow is back. 201, some Daredevil. Keep away, help me, help me, help me. 209, oh uh, yeah, and this one was, I had to just had to get this one. I think this, this is a Barry one this month. I can't tell. Mm, I feel like it is, but I could be wrong. Uh, 217, so I was actually doing, I was going through my one list and everything, because I didn't get a chance to fully update everything. So I had to kind of compile basically through uh, or I don't know what's the word I'm looking for, but cross reference several different lists, including League of Comic Geeks, my collection on there, and a couple of lists of books that I already had to know what I needed to get through when I kind of just went started, like I don't know, in the 190s. But all right, which issues in the 190s I need there, and then up into the 200s. And then I was gonna, the seven issues was gonna top out before this one, but I was like, ooh, I put down another issue to get this one instead, just because of the cover there. And then 192, that sniper there. Even at somebody, who knows? And 193, a man with the axe. Here come Daredevil. And then final issue that I picked up, uh, 194. Daredevil. So yeah, Daredevil is definitely one that I always pick up from Victory Comics, and it's always great because there's still plenty of Daredevil I need to get in cap as well. So I got that one issue there, and then the rest. <laughs> All Avengers. So I did get some pre-100 event. Well, really just kind of aiming for pre-100s and uh, early 100s. So kind of in, I don't know, maybe like a 50 to 60 issue range, give or take from the 80s up and through the 130s and 140s kind of thing. Well, not, really, not so much the 140s that I have. I think I have all the 140s. So maybe 80s up into the 130s and kind of see what I could get. And so I was pretty successful on that front. So I was happy. So I got these from a couple different dealers. And got some deals on these. Uh, first up, we got 186. Hopefully there's not too much glare there. Not 186, 86. I don't know what I was thinking there. And the collect in the clutches of the uncanny collector. 119. And this is a nice cover here with Dormammu and Loki. This is it, face to face with Loki and the dread Dormammu to the death. 118. That's a nice cover too. Shattering special, one Avenger dead. 136, I almost finished out the 130s. I think there'd be one more issue that I needed. I think it was, 
So it was 136. Maybe I got them wrong. Let me check. Uh, 134. By the time I flipped through this, I remember what issue it was. And then 88. There. The Goliath. Yeah. Hold it, Cyclop. Release the Hulk. Shrink him down any further, and you're one dead alien. The summons of Cyclops. So yeah, that's those are the only two. 86 and 88 were the only pre 100 issues I picked up. And we got Beast out here launching Gangway and Avengers coming through 137. And then Stranger and a Strange Man 138. Maybe I did actually get them all. Uh, they can't, they come from beyond the grave. The Avengers versus the Legion of the Unliving. Oh my, 131. 133. Oh yeah, Havoc in the Hidden Land. I like this cover here. 127. And the last issue, oh my goodness, we got a battle up here wherever they are, face to face with the death dealing legion called Zodiac. All the action you can take and more. Avengers 120, yes. So several issues of Avengers, did some damage there and Daredevil, I dig it. So yes, that, my comics haul from C2E2 2022, but that is not it. I, all those, always love, all of those Avengers, Daredevil, anytime I can get a nice set of books from my main five series, X-Men, Avengers, Made Spider-Man, Captain America, and Daredevil, it's a great show. But there's one more thing I picked up at the show, which was, I was kind of surprised to see this, especially at the price, but, and I kind of had, I was like, all right, it's, it's cheaper than um, my comic shop, or not my comic shop, but um, Hasbro Toy Shop, or Hasbro Pulse. And I went around the show, I was like, all right, I think this dealer only had one of these. And I was like, oh man, I might have to get that. And I went around the show, found a couple of the toy dealers, kind of do some comparison shopping. They were all charging 10, 20 plus more. One dealer, yeah, I think one dealer had it for, I'm trying to, what was the price? I don't remember. But $20 is probably easy lease over and even more. And I was like, oh no. So I went back, I picked it up, looked at it, examined it. I was like, oh. Yeah, I'm taking this home. So I think I posted this on Instagram or Twitter, but had some had the dealer take it. I was like, can you take a picture of me with this? I had to get myself in there as well. But yes, welcome to the family. Marvel Legends of Martin Rogue and new Pyro, a Hasbro Pyro figure. Yes, Brotherhood of the Evil Mutants right there. Fantastic, couple attachment heads, extra hands for Rogue and the Fireball. Uh, attachment pieces for Pyro, yes. I don't know who did this. I don't know. I don't think this is David Nakayama art. I don't know who did this cover art, but or the box art. I wish they listed it because they have comic artists do all the art, so they should show the art. But yeah, Marvel's Pyro, Marvel's Rogue trademark issues. But yes, this is absolutely the steal of the show. And I was thinking, you know what? I gotta take you home with me. <laughs> But yes, that is everything I picked up at C2E2 2022. It was a fantastic show. Still have some more stuff to upload. All the photo galleries uh, getting over the technical issues. So I so gotta upload those and then I'll do a final thoughts video and blog post. So be on the lookout for all of that, like a post con report wrap up kind of thing. So yes, that is everything there. Let me know if you when you went to C2E2, if you, if you went. What'd you pick up there? Comics, toys, any other collectibles? I want to hear about it in the comments below. Happy reading, happy on Happy collecting. This is Dino's Comics. Thanks for watching and peace out.